Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect. In the last episode, I messed with the controls and visual settings. It's a little jarry. I don't know. We'll see how I like it. I think it's okay though. It, it goes a little too fast paced when it comes to combat, but I think that's fine. I am... I. I'm a little robotic with my mouse movements, and I apologize if you get a little seasick because of it. I'm just so used to going ha bam 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 ha bam 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 bam. So, sorry. I apologize. Anyway, so the last episode, I messed with those. We ran into the husks. What is that? And the gaff in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Oh, wow. Oh god, and we're being shot at. Oh, I don't want to be using this. guy there? Or are you guys just shooting at nothing? something there. Ah, the mouse. Why is that doing that? Stop that. Oh no, Nihilus! We just saw you die. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! You need to be more careful, man. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Tell me what happened. I need to know how Nihilus died. I mean we watched the, the other one scene, got here they first. Don't know. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. Yeah, back of the head. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. All right, then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come they didn't find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Excuse me? Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Lucky break. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. All right, uh, tell me about the attack. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. 
Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Oh, you know what? Hard to believe that was only a few hours I missed, ago. I missed a dialogue thing Feels back there. Feels like a whole other life. I just remember there was someone you're supposed to be able to talk to between the doctor and this guy, and I missed it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. It unlocks a journal thing. So, there, I think. Yeah. You're supposed to go over here first. I think I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna save scum. <laughs> Where does this take me? Oh. Okay. Save scum. I'm gonna have to do that fight again, but it's okay. It's worth it for the thing. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? All right, it's safe. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. Yeah, there's we something just saw it wrong ran. with the... I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. Ah, important thing. You should come you clean. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a, a cut small of the profits, smuggling we let them ring. store packages in our sheds. You know, smuggling is a crime, right? You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Aha! Paragon! Option choice, is that all? We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Damn straight, you stole it. Dumbass. Probably Who's your contact it. at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. 
Besides, I'm not a snitch. But he may know something about the attack. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. That guy we just talked to, which is why this was important enough to save Scum. I have to go. Good also, luck. cool, uh, stuff. Yay, stuff. Yay, stuff! Alright. Now we'll just very, very quickly go down and, like, redo the dialogue stuff that I already did. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving. Over Wait, the... don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. Sneaking up. My name's Powell. I, your friends seem to relax. It, I, they killed everyone. Every. How come you? Wait a minute. I. You survived. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead, just like all yeah. the. Yeah. Skip, skip, skip. Yeah, skip. I guess. Here we go. Cole mentioned you. I don't really want to think about it. You're Cole's contact here on the docks, for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, yeah. what does it matter now? <laughs> so I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's so smuggler, dead, the cares? entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Smuggle any weapons? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch. <laughs> We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? All right, let it go, Williams. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. You could make amends. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. <laughs> could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Just want to hold out on Take us it. one more time. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Alright. There we go. Ta-da! Can I go ahead and, like, equip things? Alright, um... Ooh, that... Really good pistol. And then... Good armor. That's right, that's the armor I was wearing before. And then... High explosive... On the grenades. Yay! Alright, Ashley... Is there a better assault rifle? Kinda, sorta. Of. Better armor? Not really. Hayden! You can have the other pistol! Ah, my nose itches! Alright. Time for pew pew. Ow! Rude. Jerk. Thanks, I'm way ahead of you.
<laughs> I did not see him. Cover. You're a jerk. Uh, actually, move up. Okay, and move up. I really shouldn't do that, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Alright. On to the next area. <coughs> Ooh, it's Aaron. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Who's working with the Geth? I wonder if the colors of the suits mean anything. Ooh, he's got robot eyes. Oh, they're setting bombs! Man, with me only using my little pew pew pistol, this is gonna be difficult. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Uh, yeah, pistol. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Disarm. A bomb, I gotta defuse like right here. That would have sucked to miss. <laughs> okay. Disarmed. <laughs> Did it. Right. Cover me. Uh, 
I don't trust this. Oh god, you guys. Before we investigate the beacon, we gotta go around and we gotta investigate other stuff. Also, meta jump. Any treasure over here? Always gotta be looking for treasure! Heck yeah. You also get experience when you open locked treasure, so you gotta be looking for treasure everywhere. That's how you get all the experience points. And you. It's an RPG, you need to get as many experience points as you can. <laughs> Especially in a game like this where it's kind of, sort of, like, limited how much experience points you can get. I think they said that they fixed that in the Legendary version, because there's, like, all the DLC and stuff that has, like, technically grind spots. Kind of, sort of, not really. And things of that nature. But in the original, you, you basically just had to, like, you had to manage your... Uh, experience points because you could just not get enough. Ha! Woo! <laughs> that, that last one sort of threw me. <laughs> it, it snuck up on me. I wasn't ready for it. Anyway, uh, one more decryption thingy and then we'll finish up Eden Prime. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Take all that. Ha ha ha. And there really is no reason not to just take everything. I mean, yeah, you have limited uh, inventory space, but the whole, like, reduce things to Omni-Gel, you can do that in your inventory anyway. So you just take everything, look at all the stats, and then throw it away. <laughs> I'm not losing anything by looking at the stats first. All right, cutscene time. Normandy, the beacon is this secure. This is amazing. Request immediate Actual impact. working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. He turned it on. Somehow. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. All right. If you're a guy, Ashley gets taken. If you're a girl, Caden gets taken. Doesn't really mean anything, but it's just a thing that happens. Shepherd. No, don't oh, touch God. me! Too dangerous. Oh God! Oh God! Okay. <laughs> yeah, seizure warning. That's gonna happen a couple of times. They did. They put on a lot of work. Like that snippet stuff that you see. The the quick lashes. Those take those took like months and months and months to make. I think they took like six to eight months, question mark. Hey, I got an achievement. Achievement! <clears throat> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. The Normandy. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Ah oh, man, the room turns red based on his mood. He's like Lord Zed Power Rangers. This human must be eliminated. All right then.
Oh god, I forgot. Doctor, <laughs> I forgot Doctor I Chakwas, made Shepard look I like think that. he's waking up. <laughs> you had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? I'm uh, I'm okay. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Don't blame yourself. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even sure, know she if likes that's what shifting the blame. <laughs> Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Thanks. I appreciate it. More smiles. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. My eye movement's always rapid. It's a problem. I have high eye pressure. I'm not pressure. sure what I saw. Death. Destruction. Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's Captain our Exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Get the fuck out, Ashley! <laughs> Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. I still feel bad about Jank. No, um, uh, you wanted to talk? You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Damn it. Nihilus is dead. Damn it. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. Damn. Damn it. The Council's going to want answers. We have nothing to hide. Telling the truth? I mean, it won't work, but I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. I didn't That's fuck up. Everyone else fucked up. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. rogue a rogue specter. specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Hates humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. Well... A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Some sort of a vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. <laughs> a vision? A vision. A vision, a vision of what? what? Uh, warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Yeah, what are we gonna say? I had a bad dream? What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? Damn it. <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Wow. What? I mean, not just humanity, I have to think. Like, this is just a bad... This is some bad juju all around, I think. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. <laughs> yeah, He's no. a specter. He can go anywhere. Do you are in the anything. army, man. That's why Nothing's we need the council on our side. Understood, sir. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. 
All right, and we will call this episode done for now. Poor Jenkins. New save. All right, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Good thing the blue lights. I think they work out pretty okay. I don't know. I'm getting a little tired of it. There we go. Alright, goodbye. <laughs>